today I'm going to show you how I do my Jane Foster makeup from Thor Love and Thunder. It may not have been my favorite movie, but I love Natalie Portman so much and I couldn't pass up the chance to wear such a cool armor costume. I already started by applying an even coat of foundation to my face and now I am contouring my cheekbones, forehead, eye sockets, nose, and jawline. Then I take my concealer and apply it in triangles under my eyes. I apply it around my eyebrows and blend everything in. I also apply it along my jawline and I blend that in as well. To make my skin look a little more natural, I apply a light dusting of blush on the tops of my cheeks. Then I take some highlighter and apply it on my cheekbones. I also highlight above my lip, on my brow bones, and down the center of my nose. Then I take a dark beige eyeshadow and I create shadows under my nose to make it look shorter, in my cupid's bow to define it more, and on my eyelids to drag them out and make them look more deep set. Now it's time for the lips. I wipe them off, then I apply a matte liquid lipstick. I love this stuff so much and I will add a link to it in the description. Then I dust some powder foundation lightly over it to blend it. Next I'm using this brown waterproof eyebrow liquid and applying it to the corners of my mouth. Then I use a brown eyeliner pencil and fill in my eyebrows. Natalie Portman has very full and kind of straight eyebrows with a very subtle arch. So I look at pictures of her for reference as I try to match it on my own face. Then I take the dark brown waterproof liquid and fill in my brows. Next I take dark beige eyeshadow and I make the edges of my eyes look a bit sharper and pulled upward. And blend that in. Then I take my brow eyeliner and draw a line under my lower lash line to my inner tear duct to make it look more cat like. I take an even darker brown eyeshadow and apply it over my eyelids. You can skip this step if you have more deep set eyes. Now I'm taking a black liquid eyeliner and drawing a subtle line over my eye that gets thicker and wings up at the end. Then I fill in my lower lash line halfway to make my eyes look smaller. I soften the line a little bit with black eyeshadow. Next I curl my eyelashes and before I apply my mascara I put in my colored contact lenses. Natalie Portman has light brown eyes, so I got a natural light brown contact lens and they look so good. I will add a link to where you can get them in the description. Now I apply a very generous amount of mascara to my top lashes and a light coat on my bottom lashes. Then to make my eyes look even pointier, I apply a half lash to the outer ends of my lashes. Oof. She's looking sharp! Now it's time to take down my hair and put it back up. 
but I'm gonna put it in two wig caps this time to keep it compressed against my head. Then I just put on my wig and that's it. you guys enjoyed this tutorial for Natalie Portman slash Jane Foster from Thor Love and Thunder. I will definitely be making a tutorial showing how I made all the armor. I will also be posting my patterns so you can download them on my website to help make the armor yourself. Be sure to check out all the links in the description to find everything you need. I have tons of other cosplay tutorials on my channel that you can check out. And as always, thank you so much for watching my video. Bye!